Hey guys, so we're going to be looking at our Hubba Bader uh, Genesis 1588 incubator today. Um... Hello, I'm Travis. Welcome to Wilderness Homesteadings. We're out here checking our traps and stuff. instructions out and I'll tell you what the instructions are nice they're colored uh, very nice detailed setup so I'll give them an A plus on that so let's get this thing opened up the one thing that I did when I took it out it's got a it comes with an egg turner I did purchase another egg turner with it because this one is mainly for chicken eggs I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute but this was in there but when I was putting it back together, I couldn't remember exactly, or putting it back together from taking the instructions out, I couldn't remember exactly how it was in there, so I didn't want to break anything. Now this is a tight fit, and it is a foam model. So. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. So you want to be careful not to drop this. Now I did get, I think this was the Deluxe, I don't remember for sure, yeah, the Deluxe kit, Put that there. So with the Deluxe kit, it comes with the flat, this is your egg turner, I'll show you how it goes, this goes with this piece, you got the bottom rail. We have, I think this is the Incubrite, yep, Incubrite egg candler, so that's cool. Um, incubator warehouse, just so thanks for purchasing. A little bit of information, not a little information, just on how to contact them if you have problems. We've got our water tray, now this has four troughs in it, we'll label one, two, three, four. Now, per the instructions, when you're doing your first incubation, you fill trough number one, and when you go into lockdown, you fill trough number two. That being said, um, like Zach at my Shire Farm say, never trust an incubator, so I did buy a Govee um, little hydrometer thermometer so I can put in here when I'm testing it to find it make sure that it's correct um, little hatching tips that's nice plastic wrap protective more bubble wrap I'm assuming this is probably the power cord. No. Oh. Helps me open it up, right? Yep, power cord. So if I remember right, reading online, this was a 12 volt system that it gets reduced down from your regular 110 volt house electricity down to, yes, a 12 volt. So that being said, it's kind of nice because um, if you needed to, you could adapt this and run it off a 12 volt system, aka like solar panels. So I did find that interesting. So now, but the only thing I don't think is that this egg turner, got, no I didn't, grab another knife. I don't think you can hear me, my wood stove just kicked on, so. It's like four 
not trying to get into the little turner. It does have three sides are smooth and one side is notched. So when you go to put in your tray, you want the tray with the numbers on the right hand side. Put that down. Then we put the plastic mat. Um, the one thing that I will say that I watched a lot of videos, if you go to um, one of the big box stores, they have like the real soft foam drawer liners that are kind of grid work like this. I plan on putting that over the top. I guess it's supposed to help with splay leg and quail and that kind of stuff. So just a little chip. So got that in. Now for the egg turner that comes with it. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble this and then I'll get it plugged in. But make sure you don't lose your little screw. And it's, it's a very simple egg turner. I just got to figure out which side it goes on because there's a specific side to put it on. And I think it's here but I want to make sure for you guys. Okay, so as we do this, so the notch is here that the cord for an auxiliary turner or I'm going to take and put um, the goby in here plus I'm going to put another uh, another just a meat thermometer in there to double check the temperature. But this is going to right on here, like so. And you're going to want to center it. Ooh. Boy, I don't know if I like that design. Seems awful tight for putting on to styrofoam, but I don't know. I don't care for that design. And it might just be me. But to me, that's a little too tight of a fit for a styrofoam incubator. But I'm sure it works fine. And once it gets a groove in there, it's not going to hurt anything. We take our screw, pop that in there, and that's what it's going to look like as far as having the uh, um, incubator or the egg turner in. And I will be doing a video of the motion. I'm going to do a time lapse video. So then you're going to take and run this cord out the notch there, which is kind of a pain right now. And you got another notch in the lid. So that's going to go right on with that. Do 
that's a tight fit with that on there. And then that goes like that. So the one thing that I kind of noticed that I don't care too much about, but it is what it is, the handles aren't very recessed, so you kind of got to pinch it in to pull it up. But that's doable. I'd live with that. So I think what I might do is I might take you around and show you, I'll get everything plugged in, and then I'll show you how it looks up here. So give me a second, we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to stand behind the camera now. I'll plug it in. So it comes up with our temperature. We've got a heat light on there. Let me zoom you in just a little bit here. Okay. So we can see the humidity is at some or let's go back. So humidity is at 27%. Our set temperature is at 100. Our interior temp is at 70 degrees. Now if I want to change so I can change this up and down from the preset. So a lot I believe it's I gotta do a little bit more research, but 99.5 degrees is what you want it interior for the um for quail eggs. Um, we do have a vent. We got one vent here. Back you out. So right up here is a vent. A lot of people say that they just kind of put it on like that and it holds pretty decent for lockdown. I'm going to put it back in just so I don't lose it. So yeah, this is kind of what it is. I'm going to take the plastic off of it. Um, get it so that we can see through it and then I'm gonna set up so that you guys can kind of see the rail movement or the turner movement and I'm gonna show you one other thing real quick so hang on just one second okay so the one thing that I did have questions about that there's not a lot of information on with this incubator is does the um, little giant 30, or 6300 series egg turner fit into the cup of it. Like I said, I, I don't have the little giant or the hub of Vader egg turner. It's yellow. Um, I did read a bunch of reviews that I didn't care. Um, they, they said it was, wasn't the most sturdy and it was easily broken. Um, I did read a lot of good reviews on the, on this egg turner, which is a little giant egg turner. So I'm going to take this. And as you can see, it fits right down inside there perfectly. No issues whatsoever. Um, I will put on the end of this video a time lapse video of this turning and you know put the lid on it real quick for you just to prove that it does what it says it's supposed to so you make sure you run that out the notch right there grab this piece put it in make sure all the cords are in There, just like that. So there, all fits in there, nice and nice and snug. No worries about that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I look forward to making more for you. It's coming soon. We're going to be having a uh, cooking channel set up. It's going to be Whispering Pines Katornix Quail. I'll put a link to the YouTube channel. I might put some of these videos on there just to, for informational on that. Um, for people getting into quail that want to grow them and learn how to cook them. So uh, here in a few weeks we'll have, we'll have that all set up ready to go. But for this video, from my family to yours, God bless and stay safe.